morning. This is where the build's gonna start. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, this is your new that stuff. That looks so. like the color of my thing. Yeah, man. This so, is mine. This is yours. What do you reckon? That's game changing. <laughs> down the best D-Max we have ever built. All right, build is done. Welcome to camp. What do you think about the setup? I think it is perfect. Perfect for, setup for us. For, for us and for any, well, it's not ours. Yeah. It's ours for 12 months. Yeah. It's going to be somebody else's. It's always a sad thing. It, it's, look, I think every year that we do this, um, the competition, it gets better and better and better. And this year, there's so much new stuff. You know, it's the first time that we've used an Orwell uh, canopy, yes. which is awesome. Um, the thing's been absolutely amazing so far. But I think what I'm most excited about is obviously the X2. Now, here's the thing. This is gonna be our first weekend with the X2. Yes, we've been looking forward to this. That thing literally came off the production line <laughs> yesterday. So when you saw in the last episode when I pulled up out the front of Patriot HQ, I was picking this up. It was a mad scramble with the team there. Thanks for the team uh, at Patriot Campers, my A team, for getting this thing done. We're gonna show you through here, first time ever anybody's gonna see the brand new Gen 2 X2. But I think what we'll do is we'll get disconnected, yep. and then we're gonna run you guys through everything that you could possibly win. Oh, so exciting. If you're the lucky winner of this giveaway. So let's get to it. Now you've seen it all throughout the build series, if you've watched the build series, where it goes into detail everything that we put in. So let's just do a quick glance over because you would have seen this uh, through the series. If you haven't seen the build series, go back and uh, watch those episodes. So we've started with a brand new Isuzu D-Max X-Terrain. So that's the top of the range uh, D-Max. We've been giving away the D-Maxes now. I think this is, this is either number three or four, it's one or the other. I still can't find a better value dual cab ute uh, that I would be comfortable, A, using uh, throughout the episodes of Patriot Games throughout the year. Um, and you'll see the twins will be driving this a lot throughout the year. But when the twins aren't driving this, this is what our camera crew have been running. So in the background, we've really focused on setting this up so it's really functional, usable as a touring vehicle for, you know, for us, for the lifestyle side of things, but really functional as a work vehicle for the camera crew as well. So obviously a three litre turbo diesel, uh, got the automatic gearbox in it, factory rear locker, um, which is a massive, massive thing. Reliability has been awesome. Servicing is really cheap on them. Um, I just, I can't fault it. I can't fault the D-Max and that's the reason that we just keep on going back to it. Our seven seater MUX uh, is currently still part of the fleet as well. We still have that vehicle. So fundamentally it's the same drivetrain but in the seven seater version. So that's the first thing about the actual vehicle. Now, uh, let's talk about the stuff that we fitted. Off-road Animal, we've been working with these guys for a very, very long time, really creative. Uh, they come up with left field concepts. 
Um, we get some sort of influence in the design with these guys as well. So the team down there will listen to it. If I say, oh, I'd like this or I'd like that, they will, you know, they'll, they'll listen to us and they'll take, you know, some desires that we want as an end user and, and they kind of do it. Steel bull bar, uh, big bash plate, massive recovery hooks. Um, we've gone with a Sabre winch for this season. So it's a 12,000 pound uh, Sabre winch. Um, with Dyneema rope and obviously Sabre fair lead and the Sabre uh, soft sh uh, shackle uh, mounting point. Can't really comment on the winch now because I haven't used it yet, but watch throughout the series and I'll let you know. Off-road animal uh, LED light bar that comes with the bar and rigid six inch lights. Um, rigid has been just a product that I've kind of fell into, like all the travels in the United States. I bought a pair of rigids for one of the cars over there bolted them on and the light that comes out of these things is just unbelievable. Not really dominant in Australia yet, but I think rigid is going to, is gonna become a thing um, here in Australia. And I hope they do because they're uh, absolutely amazing product. Uh, GME 2.1 dB, I got it wrong in the last video. That's why I double checked. 2.1 dB, we got a 6.6 .6 in the back seat. Um, the shorter whips, I've said it in previous videos, um, are better for your mountainous terrain. So what we're in now, that lower DB, the way the frequency waves work, whatever, watch a scientific video, I don't know, but I know that they work better in the mountains and your big tall ones uh, with the higher DBs are better for your, your long distance. So that's the perfect whip for today. Coming up the side, um, we're back on Mickey's. So I, look, I've been trying all of these different tires throughout the past couple of seasons. And it's funny how you do a revolution and you come back around to what you know. So we're on MTZs. If you were going to run, if, if you were going to use your vehicle as a daily, I would strongly advise against MTZs. Even coming down the highway this morning on this is like all the way down the highway. But when you get off road, you obviously can't beat them. If this was my daily driver, I'd definitely put a set of ATZs on it. Uh, Mickey's have been good to us over the years. We've been running them back from uh, day one, so still absolutely love them. Pcor Signature uh, 261 wheels. Uh, so these are a 17 by nine inch in our machine face. You can also get these in a black face. Check out the Patriot Supply website. You can order these. Most uh, utes, dual cab utes and four wheel drives, we have an offset and a stud pattern uh, that'll fit. If we go down like this a little bit, um, Superior Remote Resi shocks, unbelievable bit of gear, unbelievable bit of gear. And I say that hand on heart. This is the most comfortable dual cab ute that we've ever built. And that's because of the shocks. The ride on these things, uh, the spring rate, I can't tell you exactly what spring rate um, that this thing's got in it. I don't know off the top of my head. Contact the team at Superior Engineering. This is obviously a GVM uh, upgrade as well because of the big Norwell canopy on the back. Uh, remote resi shocks and adjustable valving as well. So you've got clickers in the front, so you can adjust that valving in the front. If you're on highway, you can stiffen the thing up, get a little bit less body roll. When you go off road, soften the thing right up, a little bit more articulation, um, but the ride on this thing is absolutely insane. Uh, love them. Moving down the side, um, off-road animal, rock sliders, uh, must have a bit of gear. Really, really clever setup, these things, the way that off-road animal are manufacturing using techniques like uh, extrusions and sheet metal and coupling them together, really left box thinking and really, really smart way of manufacturing. That's another one of the reasons why I love that brand so much. Front runner roof rack, uh, we run a, a front runner on the giveaway last year. Wrapped with it, love it, no reason to change it. Um, we've got side lights mounted on there as well. They're now an option that you can get from Front Runner. You can get slide out tables, all sorts of mounts on top, kayaks, max tracks, uh, whatever you like. And speaking of max tracks, Pcor uh, yellow max tracks on top. And we've got a Red Arc 120 amp uh, solar panel sitting up on top there as well. Moving down the back, um, the obvious, this thing I'm in love with. Like I'm absolutely in love with. And actually, Sarah said it to me this morning. She goes to me, how do you feel about running a Norworld canopy? And I said, oh, I love it, why? And she goes, oh, Pcor. I'm like, babe, look, to be honest with you, Norworld done it better than we did because that's what they do. And we build camper trailers better than everybody else does because that's what we do. And it really shows in the product. Again, another like hand on heart comment, this is the best canopy that I've ever owned. I think from, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of teeter on the edge here of maybe getting into trouble. 
I think from an aesthetic point of view, I think Peacor really had it when we brought it out because it was really, we really concentrated on the form side of it. We wanted to produce a product that really suited the modern day utes, but with that comes the sacrifice of functionality. Norweld have always stayed true to what their product is and their focus has been functionality. And that's the one thing I can say about Norweld over anything else that I think is on the market today. From a functional perspective, the way they're constructed, uh, constructed, super heavy duty while still focusing on being lightweight and usability side. So the way that everything kind of functions and, and is set up, you know, your drawers, uh, the table, the way the table is when we go around the other side, you'll see that use there. Things like mounts for the travel buddy, which I've actually used uh, for the first time. I just turned it on for the first time this morning. That's it, I've got it set at like 75 degrees. Picked up a couple of pies from the bakery, left the door open, one slid out. You can see like meat pie and that all around here. We're just gonna let this roll, like I said. And we've actually got a brand new product from uh, Dometic, the NRX series fridges, 115 litre fridge. Nothing's in it yet, it's on, it's cold, haven't used it. You'll see us use it throughout the season, so I'll come back uh, to you on that. Obviously, the little freezer up the top, removable freezer. We'll figure all that stuff out later. So just finishing up on giving Norweld all of the love that I think Norweld deserves because they are really, really good friends of mine as well, you know. Me and the team up there, we started, I think, in the same year. Patriot Campers and Norweld started together. We met right at the start. We grew our businesses together. We went to the US together. There's always been a tight relationship there and I've always really admired what they do. And from a manufacturing uh, point of view, I don't want to harp on about it too much, but things like even the roll bar, like that's all aluminium extruded roll bar. Uh, with some mandrel bending tools that even from my perspective and you would have seen in the build video um, you know coming up with concepts like that and ensuring that, that the functionality if i had a farm ute and i wanted a tray to work there's nothing else that i would buy and they've carried that over that real design based on functionality and strength and long lasting and unbreakable. And I absolutely love what they've done with them. So good on your team up there. And um, thanks for your support on this build. I know someone's gonna be extremely happy. Uh, Dometic chairs, we'll get them out in a little bit, but the reason I'm pulling them out is to run you through this um, new product from Helm Wiring. So Helm, um, I've come up with this concept now for uh, I suppose people like me, someone who was doing a build like this that wouldn't even know where to start when it comes to a 12 volt system. Um, the, the power module from Helm is just an amazing, amazing bit of kit. Again, have a look a little bit more in the, in the video, but I've got a 3000 watt inverter running in there. Uh, I've got Red Arc TVMS running in there, TVMS screen. You can see all of my different uh, switches running up on here on the Red Vision. Um, which when it comes to 12 volt power now, that's something that I even get. But really for the camera team, um, when they're using this as, as the camera uh, vehicle to bring you guys Patriot games, um, this is gonna be the truck that's gonna be um, uh, powering all of their gear. Circuit breakers, got shore power in, obviously the 120 watt uh, solar on the top is feeding straight into this module uh, here. And we've got two 100 amp hour slimline Helm lithium batteries on board. So we have power for days with this setup. Uh, to the, the people who win this, if you want to go out, you know, off the grid, that's what this whole setup um, has all been designed around. Moving around the back, obviously, toolboxes, standard stuff, don't really need to go into that. Um, we got a ladder on the back, so access up to the roof rack, massive rack up the top there. Again, functionality, um, rear lights. Uh, really clever design on a jerry can. This can be a, a water can as well. Uh, water can, is that a thing? A water can, water jug. You can put water in it. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but I th think something that's really cool, actually one of the kids said to me the other day, why is that thing bolted in there? What happens if you've got to get it out? Well, if you've run out of fuel and you need to get this thing out, you're probably somewhere where you're not going to get much other services. You're probably going to have like a 15 mil spanner or a shifter with you. But what it does is stop it vibrating and, and bouncing out the back, which I think is cool. When you're carrying jerrys like that, you don't rely on them. They're your backup. You really should never, ever, ever empty them in, unless it's an emergency situation. That's what that's all about. Um, obviously, spare on the back. One thing that I haven't used yet, which I was just looking at, this massive rear drawer. Haven't even thought about it because we've got that much storage now between this and the camper trailer. Um, obviously, a little tabletop there. You can slide that back and forth. Um, I'm sure the camera team will fill that thing full of something. I don't know, whatever they 
caramello koalas, maybe. Uh, what buttons up the back of the um, the D Max? Um, I don't I don't know how to get this point across when it comes to a tow bar. Like I really don't know how to get it across. You have to have one. Like you have to get a Heyman Reese X bar if you're towing something. And I'll tell you the number one reason. See that drop hitch that's in there? That drop hitch you have to use on everything. And what that tells you straight away is just how highly tucked Heyman Reese have concentrated on their designs to give the best departure angle for any tow bar. If I look at, say, a, a factory tow bar on anything, that has always been a problem on every build that we've ever done, even Super Tourers, from Toyotas to Rams to Azuzus, all the rest of it. We concentrate on getting the tray up high, but you still got the problem of you've got this structural part of the car that's at the back that's going to limit um, your four-wheel driving ability. So just for that reason, I would buy an X-Bar, but there are other reasons for it. There's a couple of other things, and people who have worked with me over the past 10 years know one of my pet hates I cannot stand when people fit Anderson plugs and uh, light plugs to the underside of a tow bar. They screw them into the bottom, because I tell you why, you go off road, you rip them off. It is just that simple, and it is so frustrating and so annoying. Heyman Reese have thought about that problem as well. So integrated into either side of the hitch, you can see there is absolutely no way of that getting damaged. That's your Anderson, that's your light plug. Recovery points are another uh, real big one. Now, I think it's so common now, everybody knows, you never recover off a ball. That's just 101 standard. You'd have to be the biggest idiot in the world to even consider doing that if you haven't been on YouTube and watched some of the videos on what goes wrong. So you do have um, recovery points that you can buy. So even from Sabre, for example, I run a recovery point on the back for a soft shackle, but Heyman Reese now have thought about that as well. You have massive, three massive recovery points, rated recovery points uh, that are built into the tow bar. So again, whatever build that you're doing, if you're towing uh, and you're serious about off-roading, really have a look at the Heyman Reese X bar because it's an investment into the performance of the car at the end of the day. It's not just a tow bar. Um, and that's something that's really clever. And we've been working with these guys a fair bit as well. We've uh, done some development with these guys for some, uh, some other products, which has been really cool. A bit of a feather in our cap to be working with a, such a well-known um, Australian company. Uh, the other thing you'll notice while I'm down here is obviously the torque at stainless exhaust. Um, I like to hear a little bit of engine sound. I don't like drone. I don't like big noise. I hate fabricated snorkels. So maybe it's because the grades are starting to come out a little bit. Um, but a big thing that you will get out of exhaust is you will get a slight improvement uh, in power. Now, the three litre in this thing here makes 450 newton metres. And even towing the X2 out through the mountains here this morning, um, the D-Max has just pulled and they pull absolutely amazing. Uh, 140 kilowatts of power as well, which again is ample. And even with the, the additional load that we put onto this thing, uh, I've been dailying this thing, like I said before, for about a week. I've been driving it every single day. I honestly don't really notice the difference from this as the full build around town um, as when it was the bog stock standard. So the power uh, delivery in the D-Max is ample and the automatic transmission in these things is just, it's, it's smooth as silk, um, really good bit of gear. Opening this side of the canopy, this side of the canopy is probably this is the work side, I'm gonna call it. So um, we've set this up exactly how we wanted this. Now, this shelf is an option. When we first got the canopy back from Norwell, the ARB twin compressor was mounted here and it was taken up about that much sort of space. The length of this shelf I find really handy because things like camp chairs, for example, like long pack camp chair, uh, when my camera crew's uh, using the vehicle for filming, long items, tripod sliders, all the rest of it, this is gonna come in really handy. Some of the other uh, functionality of, of this side is, I'll just quickly run you through this drawer. One of the things that we've done in this drawer here, for example, we've run from the Helm power module, we've run a 240 volt plug right into this corner here. So everything that you want to charge while you're traveling, and you do, you're charging camera batteries or laptops or head torches or all the rest of it that are always all over the car with cords running everywhere, or even in a canopy, if we plug them straight into there, you end up with stuff just, just jumping around all over the place. We can keep it nice and contained on this side and we've added in a little divider into here just to keep that uh, battery separation. Now for the twin compressor, there's obviously um, your pump up system um, from ARB, uh, which Norwell's uh, supplying ARB twin compressors as an option, which are a great compressor. I run them in all my other cars. A uh, couple of the other items that you're gonna get with the giveaway this year, um, we've kept all these in the box because I have hundreds of these things at home that you see us use right throughout Patriot Games. 
So we won't give away used cups. We're gonna give you guys some brand new stuff as well. Um, so the Dometic uh, range of uh, kitchenware, if you haven't used it yet, get on it. It is absolutely awesome. Let's just have a quick look. And you'll see us right throughout Patriot Games. We use them everywhere. Um, that's a thermo cup, for example. That's my favorite color, actually, believe it or not, in the Dometic range. Um, and these things, like, you can make a coffee at six o'clock in the morning and by 10 o'clock, you're probably still gonna be burning your lips. That's how efficient they are. They work really, really well. Just great quality, great colors, bit of fun. You can get them in, I think, four or five different colors. Um, so check them out. But we'll give you a range of these with the giveaway as well. Uh, another item that is just a, it's just a staple now for me. Uh, the twins have one of these in everything that they own, every one of their cars, even in the boats, all the rest of it. It's a personal locating uh, beacon. I think I've done a loading up video on this, so, so check them out. Um, so this here is a, it's a little EPIRB. You get into trouble anywhere, you've got no cell, no reception, pull the pin, someone's coming to help you. Um, so you're in distress and uh, someone will be dispatched anywhere in Australia, um, which is really cool. It's a good thing to have. Another product that we've got here, which I haven't opened out of the box, we're gonna leave this one new because I do have a sample one. Uh, is a Dometic uh, twin burner grill. So if you're gonna not be using your X2, so if you're going away for a weekend and you just wanna take the car, now you've got fridge on board, uh, you've got your pie oven on board, you've got your power system on board, chuck a gas bottle on the back, twin burner stove, and the vehicle now is, is fully uh, sufficient on its own. Uh, haven't used this particular product yet, so I can't really comment on it. High output stove, similar to what we put in the X2, but this one comes with grill plates as well for doing steak. So get rid of the grill plates, boil your pots, grill plates on. It's a it's an all-in-one kind of camp kitchen stove, which I think is a pretty cool bit of gear. Uh, moving up the side, uh, water tank. Can't remember off the top of my head how big the water tank is on there, and I actually didn't fill it up. So, But there's a water filler here. Uh, water output there. Probably the last thing is um, we'll have a quick look inside. Um, X Terrain is the, the top of the range model. Um, comfort in this thing is unreal um, for a dual cab ute. Now, everybody knows I, I drive the big American trucks uh, on a daily, but jumping into this thing here, I don't feel confined. It doesn't feel any smaller. Really nice leather accents. Uh, got a massive screen there, Apple CarPlay. This thing's got more tech in it when it comes to driver safety than anything else that I've driven. It has all sorts of alarms and beeps for, obviously you've got your parking sensor, but you've got your lane departure control, so you've got the sensors there. The steering wheel will also, if you start nodding off and wait off and select and that detects the side of the road, it'll, it'll pull the steering wheel back straight. Um, it's got integrated into the GPS. It's got, which is a really good feature for me to be honest with you. It's got a little uh, beep that goes off when you go over the speed limit and comes up on the dash, um, which is really cool. So modifications to the interior, there's really not a whole lot to do. Now, obviously for us uh, and for everything that we have, Red Arc Tow Pro, so that Tow Pro is integrated uh, with a P-Core Trail Connect. Trail Connect system is available from Patriot Supply once again. It's a Red Arc Tow Pro unit that comes with a fully integrated wiring harness that's universal, will bolt onto any car, you can do it on the weekend, which also gives you an Anderson plug. Uh, so if you're tying a caravan or a Patriot camper, um, then you get the ability to charge. Red Arc Tow Pro, again, I speak about them in so many videos, uh, change the world when it comes to brake controllers. You know, I still remember those big stupid units that you used to have to tech screw into your dash that were, you know, just, just crazy, but these things, fitted into the factory bezel. You can order them with a bezel to suit really most vehicles. So nicely integrated and a fully automatic system if that's what you want. So it's got a G-force sensor there in the Tow Pro. It'll sense how hard you're braking and adjust the output signal to the brakes on the trailer to pair up with the car. If you're off-road, you're in slippery conditions and you don't want the trailer locking up, you can back the thing all the way off. Or if you're fully loaded on the trailer and you feel like you want more braking, then you've got a setting there that you can adjust it between one and 10, which will give you a different pressure on the back. Um, also, GME XRS. Um, so this is the XRS Connect Bluetooth capabilities, uh, the new Bluetooth capabilities uh, and the pairing uh, to your phone and especially being in convoy with these things now, having the ability uh, through your phone to see on the GPS your mate's location, even when they're out of radio signal range, is how GMA have, have really changed the game. Game changes, GMA tones. 
game changers, mate. <laughs> um, but it, I mean, it is. It's it's game changing stuff when it comes to you know what a UHF or a CB radio could typically do in the past. They've really, uh, you know, Australian design, like Red Arc, another Australian product that's leading the world in something that you don't really consider on a day-to-day -day basis can be so important. But if you go back to season three or two of Patriot Games in Arnhem Land, I lost Mia and Sarah and the Ranger, and the only way that I found them was through the XRS Connect, and that was the first year that XRS launched, and I've been hooked on that product um, ever since. So, yeah, that probably about sums up the interior um, of, the, of the build and what we've done there. Now let's get over to the X2. Um, I'll probably yeah, walk with me. We'll go over, we'll go see Sari. We'll introduce you back over. She's gonna run you through something brand new from Patriot Campers. Patriot Games Season 7 is underway. And to celebrate a new season and the launch of the Patriot Campers Gen 2 range, we're giving you the chance to win this next Gen Explorer package valued at over $175,000. Featuring an all new camper trailer from Patriot Campers. Designed to conquer any terrain, this lightweight off-road camper trailer is packed with intelligent features that will take your off-the-grid adventures to a whole new level. So you can get off the beaten track and explore Australia like never before. Towing your camper trailer will be an all-new Isuzu D-Max with a 3.0-litre turbo diesel engine and 3.5-tonne towing capacity. Fully kitted out for a Patriot Games adventure using the gear we know and trust giving it more carrying capacity with a Norwell tray and canopy, a complete electronic suite from Red Arc, more connection with an XRS radio platform from GME, and a serious power upgrade with a Torquid exhaust. Wrapping the D-Max in bar work from Off-Road Animal, a set of P-Core signature wheels, and a two inch lift from Superior Engineering. Rigged out with recovery gear from Max Traps and a fully equipped kitchen with a Dometic fridge and cookware plus loads of camping gear and accessories. Enter online for free at patriotgames.tv or gain additional entries by purchasing any camping gear or apparel from Patriot Supply when you use the promo code SEASON7 at checkout. Enter today at patriotgames.tv How are you? You haven't done anything. No. You, you've actually been waiting. I was thinking of getting out of chair, yeah. just sitting and watching you go through the X2. Well, I'm going to have to set it up because you know what I was just thinking? What? This is your first time with the X2. It 100% is. That's why I'm so excited. This trailer is literally like, what, like 12 hours old off yes. the production line? Literally brought it home, yeah. put some stuff in it, some giveaway stuff, and we're here. So, yep. Yeah, I've seen it being made, but I haven't had a good play with it yet, so you're definitely going to have to help me with this. All right, so this is going to be, I think, a, a, a step back in time for Patriot. What the X2 is really all about for us is it's back to camping, and it's purely camping with n no frills. No, and by no frills, There's still I mean some frills. <laughs> no frills compared to the current Gen 2. There's still a lot of frills in here. Yeah. So we've really focused on price point for this thing here. We really wanted to introduce a product back into the market that was more affordable. Um, that where the current range has gone with all the tech that we put into the current range. Um, and I'm super, super, super excited about this because it really takes it back to where Patriot Camp is all started. Hey, no, we've like. got to get our camp here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh -huh. how about you and I set up the tent and awning together just yeah. so I can show you it for the first time. Yeah, yeah. And then you, go, you run uh, through everything else yeah. with everyone. So look, as per normal, babe, awning, <coughs> you know how to do that. Let's just pop the awning up because it's going to give everybody a lot kind of clearer view on uh, on how easy this thing is to operate. So, we're going to do this in real time, and I'll tell you why we're going to do this in real time. I love those latches. <laughs> they're, they're awesome, They're mate. the best. Because when it comes to set up, Patriot's never done anything like this before, right? So, we push on the gas struts there, 
we pull that bungee out there. What do you reckon, babe? Do you, reckon, do you reckon you can handle doing that on your own? Yes, well, we've done the Sarah test on this one, oh. so I can some... actually pull it down and put it up. Basically, if this was just your quick overnight stays, and that's all that, all that we're doing tonight, that there would really be camp set up. That'd be camp done. So what it is, it's, it's your kind of your wedge style tent, I suppose. What we fitted to the front here is we fitted a ladder. Love this. Yep. Love so that again, access from quick the front. overnight stays, but you also have a ladder over the other side, which Sarah's going to run you through in a sec. So, babe, that's that's my bit done, I suppose. No, done. no, you've got to help me out. Well, yeah, okay. I well, mean, I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, I've been around it getting. You want to do it together. But all the little bits, I need to learn some bits on this as well. I'm not, you know, knowledgeable about everything. Okay. All right. Well, let's do it together. Let's. Well, how about we walk around this and we'll do it together. So tent. Done. We'll go in there later on and we'll yeah. show you the other features of the tent. Let's concentrate on the things that you guys are going to get with the prize giveaway. And if you want all the details, the information on the new X2, check out the Patriot Campers launch film. Yeah? Yeah. How about we do that? We run yeah. with that. Okay. So in the front, we've got a few things bounce around. Let me sort that out. Barbecue swing, you cannot go without that. Barbecue swing away, which is something that you definitely need. So we've decided to put one of these in yeah. as part of the giveaway. So you've got Weber Baby Q. This one here, we've installed the Truma hot water system, which is quite an expensive option. It right? definitely is. But again, we're going to be using this trailer over the next 10 months. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be comfortable with it. We wanted to use it over winter. So you've got on-demand hot water from the Truma diesel system. That's the diesel tank there. That's your hot water shower rose. And in the top there, uh, you've got a few accessories. And we did have a play with this. And, and it, it's very good. And it is awesome. Right, <laughs> we'll, we'll show you a little bit more. All right, kitchen. If you open the kitchen just yeah. on the way around, twin gas bottle storage. So you got one there for your Weber, one for your stove. Yeah. Uh, around this side, you've got the, the standard Gen 2 kitchen set up with a couple of couple of tweaks. Yeah. Yeah? I love that it's still got the massive fridge, the 75 litre. CFX 75 litre. That's, um, that's something that you kind of had to have, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so what are we going to get? Cokes, waters, and all the rest of Just it? necessities. Kitchen setup slightly different. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you were involved with this, but I'll just point out the difference between the X1 and the X2. You don't have the flip up bench, you've got a little bit different configuration. Yeah. So, you still got the stainless bench tops. Um, Red Arc uh, Red Vision, so your TVMS, so your total vehicle management system, controlling everything, all the lights and all the rest of it. 100 amp hours of lithium battery on board. Yes, yeah, very helm. Cool. Trying to keep that weight down. So one single 100 amp hour will come with the prize pack. You can option on the second one. We don't feel any need. This thing is a tourer, and hence the reason it's been called X2 Tourer. This is designed for pure camping off the grid, not plugged into mains. That's not what this thing is all about. You've got a 40 amp charger in here from DC Charge. So off your car, you can bang 40 amps straight into it. The D-Max alternator is giving it about 32, 34 amps, which is a ton of power. 240 watts of solar up on the roof. Yeah, so that's in, crazy. It's awesome, eh? Yeah. In full sun, so full UV, so during the middle of the day, in theory, you should get about 20 amps. We've seen so far about 15 amps in testing at the factory, yeah. which your fridge on general mode, your fridge is pulling four to five amps. All of your lights are doing another three amps. So say you got everything on in the trailer, you're running 10 amps, and you can get a bit up to 20 amps uh, in through your solar, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, this is your Truma controller here. So you've got hot water at the sink, your hot water shower at the front, obviously, like you know, and the heater inside the tent. That is insane, that heater. <laughs> which, with such a small volume, I'm that always tent. cold. <laughs> how, Not cold in there. How was it the playing around that we've done with it in the factory? Um, the stove, you wanna pull that out? Yep. Show everybody the stove. So we've got the Dometic, we've got the twin burner, it's also got a grill in here. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So you've got your twin burner stove there and your grill underneath. Um, so they come in our current range, range of trailers as well. And um, everything that you see that we're showing you guys today, everything, this is all part of the prize package. Yes, which all is the pretty goodies. Cool. Um, your little standby charger. You even get stubby coolers. Oh, you do get stubby coolers. Um, so Red Arc uh, Smart Charger uh, comes with the trailer as well. So this is your standby charger. So when you're at home, plugged into the... Kids love them. Yeah, we use these at home on everything. Uh, they're a smart charger. They've got three modes of absorption. They work with lithium. They actually uh, protect your battery. They don't just put charge straight into them. They'll learn the state of the battery and then give it the, the, the best charge. 
Anderson uh, plug on the side. So that's that's your house charger. If you are at a caravan park and you're plugged into, into mains, that's what you use to charge the trailer. You've got your wet storage, love that. Yep, rear, you want to have a look in the rear, there is only one surprise. So Sarah loaded this the up surprise. yesterday before we left and then we pulled all your stuff out. <laughs> Okay. Brand new product from Red Arc. So that is actually a prototype from Red Arc. That's cool. By the time you guys see this, the RS2 range of uh, Red Arc inverters is being phased out and the brand new RS3s are coming in. Uh, biggest change with the RS3 uh, is an inbuilt uh, RCD. So no longer do you need 240 volt uh, certification for anything post the inverter, which is really, really cool. So for the DIY That's guys, really cool. uh, and even for us from a compliance point of view, um, absolutely awesome. So what we've done is we've exposed the inverter because now it has that functionality. It's not hidden up yeah. in the belly of the trailer where we don't want anyone to touch it. Um, this thing is protected and you can see there. So you can see what we've done is here is we've uh, cleverly, we've designed some little ports where you can just plug in uh, your um, your extension lead or your power bank and run it through into all the different compartments of the trailer. Yeah, it's very, Which very is cool. awesome. So you're not fixed to a certain position for a power point. You want to pop out your rear drawer? Yes. So this is a new feature for the Tourer. Um, which very is cool. Slide out rear drawers. And that is an option on, on the standard X2, but this is a fully optioned X2 that we're giving away. So we just wanted to fill the trailer with some more goodies, yep. which we did. Um, I think there's some more good stuff in there, isn't there? I, I think in one, of them, them. one of them's food, but um, in this one, you get some goodies that come with the trailer as well. You got your pop-up bin, a beach towel, cooler pack, six pack of beer fits in there nicely. So what I would do with the next two is I would put a my tool kit and all the stuff I don't use don't every touch, day. Yeah. And I, and Ashton actually said it to me last night. If you put it up the top there, you can just put a bungee cord across yeah. it. And that's your stuff packed up in the in the trailer that you're yeah. not using Labeled on a daily in front basis. Of it. No one so touches all it. my spare parts and tools and all the rest of it, that's um that's what I'd do. Hang on. This is a pretty good view. What do you reckon? And a pretty good spot to chill. What do you reckon? I love it. You love it? I love it. I love it. All the lights in the bottom that go around. You've got your little switches there. You've got your light bar up here. This thing is working. I love it. Absolutely love it. I think you've got it. it perfect. I think the features, the big features, I'll run you through the big features. Um, feature number one, I think we've done something quite clever that I've never seen done before. What's that? You see we've got a canvas roof in the top, sitting underneath the hard lid. So what my theory was with that is, and what I've kind of experienced with hard shell campers, and especially being black, is the tents get really, really hot. Yeah. So what we've tried to achieve here is a tropical roof. So what it does is it creates an air pocket sitting in between the canvas and obviously the top of the lid, and yep. air can flow over the top. So when the air's flying over the top, it's obviously keeping cool air over the top of the tent. The flip side of that is in colder conditions, it creates a thermal pocket for the mm. heat to stay in mm. as well. So in theory, the tent's gonna stay a lot warmer in the, in the colder conditions and a lot cooler in the hot conditions. Another big thing is obviously waterproofing. There is no issue yeah. with the hard, not that there would be, because you've got a hard lid anyway, yeah. but the thermal side of things is what, um, we're kind of giving that a crack. I personally haven't seen it done before. So that's a really cool feature. We've got diffuser lights around the bottom yeah, here. So you've got two lights, which you can either switch from inside the tent or down. The other thing uh, that we didn't talk about is obviously with the Red Vision, you've got Bluetooth compatibility with your phone. So you can turn anything on and off in here that you like. Um, heater, so the Truma heater, the two vents are right here for the heater. So the hot air will blow up in here. You've got a thermostat in here as well, so you can set the temperature to a particular temperature and it'll just maintain that temperature. Mm. Um, there is, a, as an option, there's a multi-room that's available to come out this side, a kid's room. What we found in all of our testing 
was the efficiency of the heater. It was heating that multi-room. Oh, it was, it was pretty which insane. Which is absolutely awesome. Um, I'm really, really happy with Good this Good ventilation. Thing. I'm always about the ventilation. Yep, and three window ventilation. And yeah, the like the swags. You yeah. love the swag, but I always feel like I'm just like a little bit yeah. too claustrophobic in there. This is good. Yeah, I'm Got real. the good head height. Okay, don't get too comfy in here. I'm pretty comfy. I reckon we get all of the gear together. Yeah. We put it all out in the front. Make everyone get excited. Yeah? Yeah. And we'll, and we'll wrap this video up. It's getting cool. a little bit long. All right, yeah. let's jump in. All right. All right, guys, there you have it. Woo! The prize package. A high five. I was going for a high five. Oh, I wasn't. Did you really just do that? I, I thought that you were going for one. All right, the sentimental thing. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for supporting Patriot Games, supporting everything this family does, the dreams that we live, the lifestyle that we live every year. I think this is our favourite part of the year. The whole Definitely. family's favourite part of the yeah. year yeah. is A, going out and beating up on your gear, <laughs> not our gear, but B, that moment when that person gets that phone call that we have changed their life. We give them the opportunity, whether they take it or not, we give them the opportunity to live the lifestyle that we live, the lifestyle that we promote, what Patriot Campus is all about, what Patriot Games is all about. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, eh? It is so cool. Yeah. People get to enjoy this. Can you imagine getting that phone call? I know. Can you imagine that getting that phone call like, this is all yours? It is the best part of the year. It's the best part of the year. Guys, thank you very much for the support. Enjoy the upcoming season of Patriot Games. We're getting back to grassroots. We're going to do some of the old school stuff yeah. that we used to enjoy, the stuff we used to love with the three big midgets. They're big. Yeah? <laughs> um, and again, thank you very much. Best of luck. Make sure you Good enter. Luck. Because every year we change someone's life. Yeah.